Well, Declan, what's the mood like in the dressing room at the moment? Do you feel that West Ham were the architects of your own downfall today? Yeah, um, I've not been in there yet because I've been selected for drug testing. So I, I, I don't know what's been said, but from the way I'm feeling uh, and the way I see all the lads at the end on the pitch, you know, it was just, you can see in my face, I'm devastated because that was a game today that, you know, we had to win. There's two games left before the World Cup and these two big games to put yourself in a good position before you go away. And, you know, you lose one of them, you're now counting on next week where you need a big result. And, you know, at this stage of the season, you don't want to start feeling like that already, you know. Um, and that's what we've done so well in the last two years. You know, we'd, we'd have won games like today and, you know, we'd be in a comfortable position, but now we're chasing our tails and, you know, it's not where we want to be. Because um, if you look at the, the quality of players we've got, it's disappointing. Let's talk about the start to the match because it was a slow beginning yeah. to play. Um, why do you think that was? I don't know. It's just it's really frustrating because if I I feel like we're two different teams away from home, like Anfield, Old Trafford, Southampton. Recently, we keep the ball for fun. We dominate the ball, create so many chances, and then we we play at home and we look a different team. Um, this is just me speaking honestly. We, you know, we don't create the chances we probably do create away, or we don't pass the ball as well as we do pass the ball away. And that's just something we need to get. You know, home form is so important. It's been good in Europe, but in the Premier League, it's been too inconsistent. Um, and if we want to be a top team, like we keep talking about and, and, and saying that we should be up the table, well, then today, they, results like today is when we need to win the games. You've had an incredible run in the Europa Conference League, a hundred percent winning record. Do you think it is down to playing on Thursday, Sunday? No, nah, because we've done that last year and, you know, I would, if we didn't win six out of six in the Conference League, you know, I'd be disappointed with that as well. Um, that's no disrespect to the opposition, but with the quality we've got, you know, we should we should win six out of six in that and, and you know, we did. But the main, the, main, the main competition is the Premier League, um, you know, it's where you're watched week in, week out, it's where it really matters and, you know, today we weren't quite at it. Um, so we, we dust ourselves down now, we go midweek against Blackburn and then one more before, before a tournament. Talk about not being at it. Do you think that showed with the two errors, really, for the two goals? Yeah, preventable. Um, really preventable. Obviously, the first one, listen, if you make mistakes in football, I'll give the ball away today. I've done that before. Is what it is. You know, we're trying to play out from the back and sometimes it goes wrong. You know, I, I don't have no complaints about that. It's probably just more game management side of it, where it's two minutes before the end of the first half and, you know, we give away a sloppy goal and then, you know, at least say deflection top corner when we had a chance I think it was that like five and three so look, that's football um, like I said I'm gutted you know because I really care about it and just want us to do well so look we'll, we'll bounce back for sure um, you know we've got a good group of lads and yeah we'll come again I've got to ask you about the penalty shout involving Michaela Antonio it was given then it was overturned what were your thoughts yeah, on I've it not, I've not seen it back from the from the screen from a little bit from from where I was stood it Looked like a little tug, but maybe not enough to, to be given as a penalty. Maybe he's brought it a little bit, but I've not seen it back. Um, he was saying it was a penalty. I see looked at our bench, they were adamant, but look, in this day and age, you need to, you know, it needs to be a proper foul, it needs to be pulled down for it to be given, especially with VAR. So, yeah. The team were booed off at full time. You've got two more home games coming up one in the Cup and one in the Premier League. What's the message got to be in the dressing room? Stay positive. Um, Stay positive. Obviously, fans can voice their opinions. Um, you know, they pay their well-hard money for us to come watch us and you know watch you know individuals play and after the team perform well. And today we've not been at it. And you know the expectation now of the club and of the of the fans and of the players is to do better than what we've done today. So look, they were probably right to boo us today in a way because we weren't good enough um, and we know we have to be better. So look, we're going to stay positive and. I said two big games to, to round off um, you know, the first set of fixtures before the World Cup and yeah, we'll stay positive.